Helen Yee here in Salt Lake City at the Bucked Up headquarters. Always great to be joined by the one and only, the fan favorite, the always exciting, the OG and underground king, Mr. Eddie Alvarez. Great to see you. Thank you for that introduction. <laughs> I appreciate yeah. that. Well, you certainly deserve it. I mean, all the fans are counting down only two nights away, and we get to see you fight Mike Perry in there for the king of violence. Yeah, uh, this is a long time coming. Originally, we wanted Mike to be our original opponent, but uh, finally, Dave Feldman, Bare Knuckle, everybody involved got Mike in front of me, and um, I think he's going to be a fan fight, man. I'm looking forward to it. We're ready. Um, me, Coach Mark Henry, Ray Robinson, our crew, we're ready to go. Chad's a better boxer than you, Mike. Like, much better. You're out of your mind, bro. He don't want the smoke, bro. You don't want the smoke, bro. You're going to quit. You're here for a paycheck. Much, much better boxing. That's why the belt's already sitting here next to me. Because <laughs> it's, it's, it's not going to happen for you. Like, you're here for a paycheck, which is crazy to me. I couldn't even think like that. Yeah, I, I, th I think Mike thinks he can box. I don't know, like, I don't know what boxing gym you're going to or whatever. Everybody collectively seen the shit boxing you've been Bruh, doing. You've been, everybody you've been, don't know shit about fighting and boxing. Most people don't know shit about boxing. Exactly, you're damn right. They don't know just because they watch on TV, you think they know something? No, they know. That's they, what, those are your fans. They think that you know how to box. But they know. But I know they, damn well I beat you and every single one of them. They know that you can. not They know that you can. not They know that no. They know that. Bro, I'm gonna beat the f out of you, bro. So bad, bro. Right. Every. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna run? Are you gonna come forward? Like, how are you gonna escape this? Mike, you you're so Mike. How? You got two days, motherfucker. You got two days. That's yeah. All. Two days. That's mm -hmm. all you got. Enjoy, enjoy all that shit. You got two days. When you guys were kind of going back and forth, it was getting intense and pretty heated. Do you think that he doesn't understand and realize that you've told me before in the press conference, you did mention that you've had more street fights than MMA fights, right? Way, way more. So like, I hear the guys talk like 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 Chad saying that he felt like he had some experience over me because he fought a bare knuckle fight and that that like guys don't know what it's like to hit a fist like bare on a skin. I'm like I I didn't know what it was like to hit someone with a glove like until I put on an MMA glove. Like I only knew street fighting. That's all I ever knew. So like for me to put a glove on felt odd. So for me, like, I understand street fighting. I grew up with it. It's the culture I grew up in in North Philly in Kensington. And, um, you know, we're back to our roots. Yeah, I don't pride myself on, like, I don't tell people yeah. I'm from the hood. Yeah. And I've, I've been in all these, I don't, that's not how I present myself. I'm trying to be better, trying to inspire a younger generation, not, not keep the hood, keep representing and doing, I'm not, that's not where I'm trying to go at things. But, um, yeah, I'm from, I've been there. I've been, I'm from I'm from the hood, and I've been in a ton of street fights, and um, I think it's brought me to where I am today, and it's brought me to this moment to let Mike Perry know that um, I'm the real king of these streets. Rest assured, though, I'm sure anybody who knows you and has followed your career knows that you're an inspiration to so many people, and especially to the next generation. Um, but last time. After you guys face off, I know he mentioned your hard nipples, and then I saw you on X. You know, you seemed um, kind of confused by that. Even took a steroid or testosterone test. Accusa yeah, he took it. He he did accusation, and I don't care about fans. I've been accused my whole life yeah. of steroids by fans, and fans are pretty clueless, so I didn't mind that. But when another athlete, especially someone I'm fighting, accuses me, I take that like. I respect the guys I'm fighting, so I, I, I want the same kind of respect. When he says that, immediately I went home, took a testosterone test, showed receipts, and then I said, it's your up, it's your turn. We still have not seen anything from Mike Perry. He actually shut up and never said a thing again. So um, we're waiting for his test and his results, still waiting. The weigh-ins are tomorrow. You will be fighting at 175. You mentioned that nowadays you're walking around at 200, right? So 155 in the future, that won't happen again? Nah, probably not. More than likely, 55 is going to be, that's too difficult. Even my even my muscle mass on a, on a DEXA scan or something like that, I'm probably 167, 167 pounds of muscle. So, like, I'd have to cut in the 12 pounds it, it just won't work out for me my body composition is different these days 
And lastly, for the fans who can't wait to tune in and watch you fight two days away, what would you like to let them know? I just want to thank them for being on this journey with me. We have a history of violence. You know mine. Some of you know Mike Perry's. And, um, I mean, now we got two days, two fucking days left. It's time to go.